we like to think that the recommendations that our doctors give us are based on the best scientific evidence and really are what's best for our condition. But more and more evidence shows that that's just not the case. Our conventional medical system is broken. It just cannot deliver the kind of care that we expect. When you go to a doctor, that doctor is often looking to treat your symptoms and has very little interest or frankly understanding of the underlying conditions. It's medication for blood pressure, this pill for diabetes, that pill for now they call it fatty liver disease. And very rarely do they talk to you about lifestyle, about what's actually happening to your body. I've seen this too often recently with health problems that my dad is having. He's 83 years old. And some people might say, oh, well, he's 83, you know, the body's just breaking down. But that's not true because this isn't happening in other countries. There are plenty of other countries where we have people aging and they're not seeing the same kind of illness. The only time they see this illness is when they adopt an American lifestyle on an American way of eating, especially all the refined crap that we eat and all the convenience foods. Also, we're seeing these illnesses in much younger people. So when somebody in their 50s says it was on blood pressure medication, or, oh yeah, my cholesterol's high and my you know, doctor says my diabetes, you know, I'm pre-diabetic, we just take it for granted. Like, oh well, that's just how the human body is engineered, but it isn't. That is not true. And again, we can look at other countries, we can look at other time periods. People are not just breaking down in their 50s when they eat a good diet. The United States spends more money on healthcare than any other country in the OECD of the wealthiest countries and we have worse outcomes. Not only do we live less, we literally have shorter lives, but our health span is shorter. The amount of time that we spend healthy is shorter and the amount of time that we spend sick is much longer, which means we get, we may be living a certain length of time, but we spend more of those final years sick than in any other country. Dr. Aviva Ram on Instagram said something recently. She was referring to mothers, but I think it applies to conventional medicine in general. As she says here, the reality is that conventional medicine practices are not always based on the best medical and scientific evidence, nor the best interests of, in this case, the mother or the patient. They are heavily influenced by doctors' fears of getting sued, outdated information, data skewed by the interests of professionals, societies, assessment teams, insurance companies, hospital risk assessment teams, and even compromised by medical journals influenced by pharmaceutical companies. That is pretty damning, my friends, and it's true. There's a ton of evidence that shows it. So that's why I really recommend to people that they take charge of their own health, that we learn to advocate for ourselves, that we understand what our test results mean, what they mean for us, what our medication options are, and also what our lifestyle options are. Because the fact is chronic disease is not just the way humans age, and it's not something that falls from the sky. It is something that we bring upon ourselves because of the toxic society that we live in, the incredibly harmful diet that we have. And we can do something about it, but we can't just give over our health to our doctors because they've got all these influences, even some of the most well-meaning doctors. And frankly, not all of them are well-meaning. Some of them just happen to go along with it. Here's the pill, here's the prescription, get out of my office. Especially if you're a chronic illness, you need to take charge.